Hey YouTubers, Morris Rob Moffitt. Guys, today we're reviewing or comparing two different pistols. The Daisy 426 CO2 BB pistol that I did a review back in April. It's probably my favorite inexpensive CO2 pistol. We're comparing with the brand new, never before reviewed by me, XPG Umrex XPG pistol. It's also CO2. They're very, very close in many specifications. We're going to go over each one. Things I like about the Umarex and things I don't like and how they compare or how, how it compares with a Daisy. First of all, the price, the Daisy has a, a, a manufacturer price of $29.95, but each time I go to buy or look at it on, on Amazon, there's a link in the video description. It's about 19 or 20 bucks. The, the uh, original price of the Umarex is $24.33. The uh, feet per second of the pistols, the uh, Umrex is 410 feet per second, and the Daisy is 430. So the, the, the Daisy is a little bit more powerful than the Umrex. The size, they're almost identical. The uh, Daisy is, let's see, uh, 11.9 inches long, 6 inches high, and 1.6 inches wide. The Umrex is 10 inches long, 7.5 inches high, and 2 inches thick or wide. The magazine capacity, oh, by the way, both of them have their safety on. They're loaded. They both have the safety on at this time. The uh, the capacity of each one, the, the Umrex takes 19 BBs in a magazine that drops out by pressing this button here. And this is the thing I dislike about the Umrex most because the BBs are always coming out of the magazine and then jamming in the pistol um, or causing other problems. The uh, Daisy has a really innovative and wonderful little magazine that's a top loader. And I've never had a problem with any jam. And you obviously can't lose the magazine because it's included on top of the pistol. However, it does look like a BB gun, whereas for some people I think the Umarex may be more popular because it looks more like a real pistol. Um, but to me, the, the magazine even though it's a standard type magazine, in fact, I think you can use this magazine in other Umarex pistols. It's just something that I, I'm, I'm not happy with after using the Daisy. The uh, BBs, it takes 0 0.177 uh, caliber BBs. And I read every single review on Amazon of the Umarex pistol. And some of the people were talking about the ammo. And I think a comment was left by Umrex where the company recommended that you use the silver BBs instead of the copper coated ones. So where the Daisy seems to take any of them. Because some people were having difficulty and the company said it was a type of BB. The, the actual CO2 cartridge is loaded in the back here. However, it has a plastic screw where the Daisy has a metal one, which I think could break off in time. So that's another thing I don't like about the Umrex. The Daisy has a metal assembly with a metal screw and a metal knob. I kind of think the, the Daisy is going to be a better uh, long-lasting assembly there because it's made out of metal. Now, like I said, they both, they both take the 12 grain type cartridge CO2. The accuracy, I, I found the accuracy to be very good with the Daisy. I wasn't too happy with the accuracy of the Umarex. However, to be fair, I haven't used the Umarex a lot and I've used the Daisy quite a bit. These were the very first uh, little targets I shot about 15 or 16 feet when I first did the test with a Daisy Numerex 
I shot just as fast as I could at 15 feet or 16 feet with a daisy and got most of them inside. With the, uh, the Umarex, this was firing as fast as I could. I didn't do quite as well, but I hadn't really used that gun before. Then I took my time with the daisy and I got a little more accurate. And actually, I think I got less accurate by taking my time. And that is on me, I think, because the the uh, little trigger that comes with the... Uh, let's put a bag up here so I can shoot. The, the trigger, take the safety off. With the uh, Umrex, it mimics a double action trigger on a, a regular uh, double action pistol. You, it's a very long pull, so we're going to pull it, and you're going to hear it click when it gets close to the end. Hear it? Now you pull some more. It's a long pull before the break, and if you're not used to that and you're taking your time shooting, when you're pulling really far, you're expecting it to fire and it's not going. You're expecting to fire and it's not going. And then when you get to the point where it does fire, you, you're no longer in control of your aim. So it's, 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 it's on the shooter. It's on me. There's nothing wrong with the trigger. That's just something that I'm not used to. And I think if I had more uh, training with it, I'd have a better uh, a better aim but I, I, those were the results I got also after I did shoot it some more the sights were a little bit low and there's no way to adjust them um, so the things I like about the Daisy and the Umrex on the Daisy I like the price, very inexpensive. The power, it's 430 feet per second. It's actually, for me, it's fairly accurate. I like the looks of it. It has a nice feel in the hand. Also, the loader is very innovative. I like the loader quite a bit. Um, the things to like about the Umarex, it also has uh, a very inexpensive price. It has fairly good power, 410 feet. It has, for the people who like it, it has a double action trigger that mimics uh, regular pistols that have a double action trigger, like the Glock and so on. The looks of it, it, it could be mistaken for a real pistol where the Daisy, you, you can see it as a BB gun. So I think a lot of people like the Umrex because it mimics a look of a regular pistol more than the Daisy. Um, you have negatives, though, that you don't have with the Daisy. There's very few things I could find that I didn't like about the Daisy. Because it has an open magazine loader, you put this in your pocket, it's going to get dirty. Um, and, and it doesn't look like a real pistol. Maybe some people wouldn't like it. But everything else I found out is, is a wonderful pistol. I like it a lot. The, the, the uh, Boomerex, the loader, the little magazine, every time I take it out, a BB falls out. Um, and more than a few times I've had where it jammed inside and I had to use a tool to pry out the magazine again. And I also took both pistols and installed a new CO2 cartridge in each of the pistols and fired without BBs into like a shirt so I could see it was firing and it was moving the shirt in the same distance each time to see how many bursts of air I could get out of each CO2 cartridge in the gun. I got about 210 shots in the Daisy and 240 in the Umrex. The problem was after I finished firing, and obviously this isn't a real pistol so you could dry fire these, there should be no problem. After firing it for 240 times and letting it warm up again because I imagine it got pretty cold, the pistol wouldn't fire. Uh, for a couple days I would try firing it with BBs and it would no longer fire. Where the, the Daisy continued to fire fine. So I thought I had broken it so, and uh, yet it stopped working on me. So there are so many little things that haven't been going too well with the Umarex. I'm not that thrilled with it. But the 
Daisy is made in Japan and the Umrex is made in Taiwan. The penetration, I took, I took a magazine and fired, this was the hole for the Daisy, this was the hole for the Umrex, and it went through the pages up to about 92 for the Daisy and about 82 for the uh, Umrex. So it was a little bit more power than the Umrex. The trigger on the daisy is, it mimics a single action. There's no break. There's no pause. Also, the, the pistol of the daisy is a little bit quieter than the Umrex. I think the Umrex is a little bit louder than the Daisy. Hey, both off. The both of them have a little rail for if you wanted to put a laser or some other type of accessory. You uh, both of them are made of both plastic and steel. They have a metal barrel on both. However, the trigger on the daisy appears to be plastic and the trigger on the Umrex appears to be metal. They uh, obviously it comes with a magazine release and the daisy doesn't have a magazine release you just uh, lock it there and then load your babies your BBs and then push that back and it the spring comes back again. I really like that type of loader. The uh, they both have a safety, which I've shown you. They both have a smooth bore, smooth bore barrel. But length on this one is the Numerex is four and a quarter inches. The uh, they're no blowback. They're they're both semi-automatic. And as I mentioned before, the Umrex has a plastic screw instead of a metal screw and assembly for the CO2. So that's my description of the Umrex XBG compared to the Daisy 426, the Powerline 426. I think for me, with my experience, I have to prefer the Daisy. Um, I, have, I still get better shots. I'm more accurate. It shoots farther. It's quieter. I like the loader. And I don't mind the fact that it doesn't look like a pistol, a real pistol from the top. That, uh, I, actually, I prefer that. And there's, even though it has a plastic trigger, it has the metal screw for the CO2 cartridge. So they're almost identical in size and weight. I, I just prefer the Daisy. I, I, I do think that the accuracy with experience and time, I would be better. Uh, with the the Umarex, but I, I I prefer the accuracy I'm getting with the Daisy now. So I hope this is something that's helpful to you for you guys. Um, give you some idea if you're on the fence about which pistol to get, the uh, or the Daisy or or the Umarex. If you guys have other stuff you'd like for me to review in the future because some people do actually use my links to Amazon and they pay me a few pennies here and there. <laughs> I'm happy to buy some stuff now and then if, if something a lot of people would be interested in. Uh, so thanks again for watching the video. I have a playlist of uh, BB guns and pellet guns and CO2 pistols and pump pistols and rifles you could uh, check out. And like I said, I put new stuff on every week. been doing it for 12 years. And hope you come back and watch more. So guys, take care and see you out there.